Ukrainian military pictures of the 2S22 Bodana, which they say is firing on Snake Island. We can't independently confirm the footage. But Russian forces did leave the island at the end of June, and the Bodana certainly has the capability to inflict this sort of damage. The 2S22 can fire up to 40 kilometres with standard munitions, which would give it the range to hit Snake Island from the Danube Delta area of Ukraine. Although this self-propelled howitzer looks like it's from the Soviet era, it is in fact Ukrainian designed and built. It was first shown to the public in 2018 with test firings as seen in these pictures, taking place in June 2021. Crucially, it fires the standard 155mm NATO artillery calibre, meaning the supply of shells is straightforward. It's built on the chassis of the Kras 6322 six-wheel drive lorry, built in Ukraine since 1994, and especially developed for tough terrain like the marshy delta area on the Black Sea. On average, it can fire six shells a minute, with storage for 20 shells on board. It's all about symbolism. A Ukrainian-built weapon winning back part of Ukraine. Snake Island, 35 kilometers off the mainland coast, was captured right at the start of the conflict. The defenders showed defiance and won plaudits. One of the ships used by Russia in the attack was later sunk, the Moskva. Snake Island has typified Ukrainian defiance against the odds, and now, with its recapture, they're perhaps unlikely victories. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.